So there are total nine legendary armors and weapon present in Power World. And if you want to be the best trainer you can be, you should go around the world collecting each and every one of these schematics. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to get them quick and fast. If you appreciate that kind of stuff, consider leaving me a like as well as subscribing to the channel to help me grow as a creator. And down below, I will have timestamps to each and every one of these locations. And let's start off with settings to maximize your farming speed so you're more efficient. So we're going to go into the settings first, and I'm going to show you the settings that you need to do in order to get the best out of this. We're going to go to change role settings down here if you're trying to figure out how to do it. And from here, we're going to go to custom settings and change some things. So the first thing is we're going to change daytime speed and nighttime speed to 5. The bosses spawn based on the time within the world, so this is going to be the best way to get them to come as quickly as possible. Going to base and coming back typically is the time it takes for them to like respawn, so this is going to be good. Next, we're going to do PAL appearance rate. You're going to go to times 3 or 3. This is going to triple the amount of PALs that will spawn within a single instance of spawning, meaning you'll get a lot of PALs to spawn. Uh, just be mindful of whenever you're facing off against the legendaries, because you're going to have to face off against legendaries for half of these uh, schematics going to have to face off against three if you do it this way next i'm going to tell you to drop damage from pals multiplier down to 0.1 this is going to make it easier for you to kill uh, take damage from them and then you're going to do damage to pal multiplier to times five so that it'd be much easier for you to actually kill them yourself so for the old bow schematic you're going to need to face off against king paka king paka is located at 46 negative 462 and this is going to be a very simple fight it took me only like one or two tries and i got it so this should be a very straightforward capture. The bow isn't really that great of an upgrade if I'm being honest. I would never build it personally, but that's how you get it. Moving on, we have the crossbow schematic. And once again, this one is going to be a fairly easy one to get. And Bushi is going to be located at negative 120, negative 149. And again, this is a pretty simple fight. The upgrade is actually pretty substantial if you're using crossbows but if i'm being honest in terms of like overall impact i still would have a like primitive version of an automatic weapon it'll probably still be better so so for the next thing we have is the handgun schematic and the handgun schematic can be found by facing off against beacon beacon can be found at negative 346 negative 253 and once again it's another weapon that's going to be pretty good you can use this as your primary sidearm for quite a while I would personally build this one if I had to build most of these because it is pretty good like damage overall for the cost. Next we have the pump action shotgun and this can be dropped from Suzaku. This is going to be located at 401, 256 in the desert. Just keep in mind you're going to need heat resistant armor to kind of hang out in this area. So just be mindful of that. I'm a massive fan of the pump action shotgun though it is extremely pricey and I would be very mindful of the cost of that. It is a pretty decent weapon. It's going to do a lot of damage to pretty much any power you face off against. And it is a worthwhile and it is a worthwhile build in my opinion. For the assault rifle schematic, you have to face off against the Blazmot boss. And Blazmot can be found at negative 441, negative 557. And for me, this was the second longest for me to farm. Even more longer than like the other ones you have to face off against, which will be the legendary pals. And this one just took forever and ever and ever to get. The assault rifle itself is actually pretty substantial. I think the thing is it increases your bullet count by up to 50%. So you can see now I have 50% more bullets. So I have a 30 round mag. And the damage is pretty damn good overall. If you're a big AR enjoyer like I am, I would pretty much build this one because the damage is really good and probably worth it. Next we have the rocket launcher schematic. And this one can be found against the first legendary you're going to face off against. And that's Jet Dragon. Jet Dragon can be found at negative 784, negative 325. And the fight is a bit of a pain in the ass if we go with three of them because he does have a lot of honing whenever it comes to like facing off against him. So you're going to pretty much be facing off against three guys constantly honing in on you dealing a lot of damage. My recommendation for this is just to bring rocket launchers. Once you get to the point where you're fa facing off against pretty much all of these guys, they're very clumped up if you're doing it like how I do it. And if they're not a legendary, the rocket launcher just kind of one shots them with my current stats on the server. So it's kind of worth doing. Now, when it comes to the actual item itself, rockets have really good durability in general. But you're only getting, I believe, a 40% increase in damage for the most part for it. So just be mindful that overall, pound for pound, it's not the biggest upgrade, all things considered. But still a pretty good upgrade if you're going to be facing off against a lot of bosses. So maybe pick it up. Next we have the Pal Metal Helmet. And we're going to be facing off against Frost Stallion for this one. And looking at the stats, this is actually pretty damn good. 240 defense, 560 health, 
this for pretty much putting a helmet on i think it's actually pretty damn good for the cost and it's pretty okay to maintain frost stallion can be found at negative 356 509 and this was actually the second easiest one for me to find overall i think i killed him twice and he just dropped it for me and it wasn't that big of a deal again frost stallion can kind of burst you because they have a lot of freezing and if it does the ice wing attack it can cc lock you but again bringing rockets is going to just kind of stagger them and knock them off the ground so you don't really have to worry if you bring rockets but yeah definitely go pick this one up it's a pretty good upgrade and it's going to make you significantly more tanky now on to the final thematics i don't have and that is the metal armor that is going to be cold resistant and fire resistant now i'm gonna have a screenshot of it up on screen of like the armor values because again i don't have it and you can get this from paladis and necromus and they can be found at 450 677. now i want to be clear i think these guys drop rate is abysmal on these items i think i did something like two hours of me just running to base coming back resetting and fighting them and it never dropped for me i think i've killed them at least 30 times and i mean three of them 30 times of both so six of them total every single time 30 times and it would not drop um so i think the number is very very abysmal on this and you should be very mindful of that because you're going to be here farming for a long time I don't think many say this but these rates are really 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 low and it may be a pain in the ass to get if you're not like bumping stats i don't see myself ever farming for for these like metal armors because the drop rate is just so damn low and abysmal looking at the actual raw stat values though it is a very sizable increase in hp as well as defense so overall if you were somehow able to get this on a normal server then you would be pretty damn dominant in terms of defense but overall it is a massive massive time sink and i still haven't got it after probably 35 plus kills which is pretty insane all right guys there you have it that is all the legendary armors all nine of them pretty much all set up for you guys to go check them out and find them i didn't want to spend too much time just talking about it so i just want you guys to get in there and start the farm because it is a long farm but in my opinion a good portion of them are worth getting the ar the palmetto helmet with that said that's gonna be it for this one i'll see you guys in the next video very soon Later.